<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm Hardleg Joe, and today we're looking at Dark Cosmo Stun. For those of you who don't know what a stun deck is, it's not quite a lockdown deck. Uh, instead of preventing our opponent from playing altogether, we're just going to be making it difficult to play. And we do that with the three Dark Cosmo cards, Dark Planet, Dark Eclipser, and Dark Lady, that negate spells, traps, and monster effects, uh, respectively. So we're just going to be summoning big monsters, we're going to be stopping our opponent from doing things, and just doing what Cosmos normally do. If you're just here for the deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate, shorter video that just goes over everything in here and explains how it works. Otherwise, I'm going to be testing this against 10 random opponents on YGO Pro and having a bit of fun. <laughs> Alright, here we are, first duel versus parentheses RD Frost. Still no idea what these parentheses mean. Now turn down the volume just a little bit. We of course got our Cosmo sleeves with the Dark Lady and the Dark Planet. But but not Dark Eclipser, because that one's that one's kinda hard to see. Black on black? I don't know who thought that was a good idea. And we're playing against Ritual Beasts. And they have new support. Which I'm sure we'll be running into. Um if you know anything about Ritual Beasts, you know that their turns take about uh, a million years. Um so we'll see, I might win by timeout, depending on how many different things he's going to be doing. Oh no, he's just making a uh, pen pentafin. I thought he was going to be tagging out and doing things and doing all sorts of things. Uh, can't be destroyed by card effects. Luckily I have a 3000 beater I can get out. Um, let's go ahead and Allure of Darkness, because we are playing so many dark cards. And fortunately, so let's go ahead, we'll get this because it's the lowest with only 4 stars. And then the cool thing about the synergy with Allure of Darkness and Cosmo Town. If you're unfamiliar with Cosmos, Cosmo Town has two effects. One, you can shuffle Cosmos in your hand back into the deck and draw cards, so it stops you from bricking. Secondly, you can grab a banished card and return it to your hand. So whatever you banish, whatever dark Cosmo you have, you just get it back with Cosmo Town. It's super easy. And since we don't have, we don't need two dark ladies, so let's just go ahead and do that second effect. We'll just get a dark lady. Put it back in. What do I get? Cosmojo. Very, very nice card. So the Cosmos, how they work, there's two kinds. There's the pilots and the ships. The pilots are the psychic types. Most of them can be normal summoned. And then the ships you can special summon by... Banishing a pilot. Oh, so I'm on a ship. It's not specifically, it doesn't say like pilot and ship, that's just the terms they use for them. It's you could summon a level 5 or higher. But all the ships, all the pilots except for Dark Lady are uh, level 4 or lower, and all the ships, uh, yeah, I think all the ships are like level 5 or higher. So Dark Lady's kind of in between. But either way, can't be destroyed by card effects, but it can be destroyed by battle. And this thing cannot be targeted for effects. Yep, so you could destroy Cos... Oh, that doesn't... Oh, that doesn't target. Well then, isn't that just a bit of a tricky... Just a tricky pickle. Um, but that's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna get a tin can. And unfortunately, we're just gonna have to... We're just gonna have to take a hit here. Because we've already done all the things that we can do. Yeah. Unfortunately, you get the one normal summon. See, I, I would have worried more about this, but I thought that this targeted. But no, it just destroy any number of monsters. Even though you get to select those monsters, it's not targeting unless it says target. Oh, you're going this way, are you? <laughs> Trying to gain back all the life points. See, I'm not a fan. Most defensive decks like this that work on life point gain, they just don't end up working very well. Because it's like, this is a card that could be better used killing me. If you kill me quickly, it, like if you reduce my life points quickly, it doesn't matter. You don't need a defense. You don't need a buffer zone of a million life points. Like, you could just wipe me out. Unless you're specifically playing some kind of like stall deck that needs time. But Ritual Beasts don't need that. Ritual Beasts are a deck that can win in two or three turns if they play their cards right, if they have the right build. 
So this is just something that's going to slow the deck down and not really act as defensively as he's going to want. Um, either way, again, I'm not sure how... He might have a short term, he might have a lo long term, but uh, I don't want to wait. Well, actually, while we're here, I'll just, I'll just get this out of the way. If you notice the sleeves, if you like the sleeves, if you're new here and you don't know, because I, I do get a lot of new views, um, I make these sleeves myself, and I give them away on my Patreon. If you want to support the show, you can donate a dollar or more, and you will get all the sleeves, plus the, uh, the, the deck file that you use for YGO Pro. You can just download it straight from the, the Patreon. And I have a custom negation thing I make, a negation image. Um, so you'll get all of that for a donation, one-time donation of a dollar or more. You'll get everything I've made up to this point. And if you want to keep donating every month, well, you just get you get the new ones that I make too. And there there's more rewards if you donate more, but you know, one dollar's fine for me. I'm just trying to get whatever little thing I can do. If if you if you're unaware, I don't run ads on this channel, so I make no YouTube money. It's all through Patreon, because that's just how I roll. So we got Ultra Kana Hawk, which I don't think you usually want to leave out. Um. So let's see here. I think what we're going to do... We'll go ahead and Gold Sarcraphagus. And we're just going to banish um, Dark Planet. Because I want to get the Dark Planet. And that's actually it with Gold Sarcophagus at 3. Usually this is kind of a slow card, but because Cosmo have the ability to return their banished cards, it's essentially like a search. I mean, it's still a slow search, but it's like, it, now it's a much faster search. I could just get whatever the hell I want. So, we're going to normal summon Tin Can. Um, and then we're going to set these to Cosmojo, because these are really good cards. And then we're just going to use his end phase effect. Which is reveal three Cosmo cards from my deck. Unless he can negate that. Which he might be able to. Oh, and we're just going to go ahead and tag him out, too, while we're at it. Just in case. We'll get Dark Lady here. Dark Lady can negate a monster effect by paying a thousand life points. Um, okay. That's fine, but this should slow him down a little bit. And because this is a pilot, I can tag it out for my Forerunner, if need be. Because it's any level 6 or higher. But yeah, Tin Can's effect. Select... Three cards, three Cosmo cards, um, and we're going to get our ships. We have two that we play one of, just for this. My opponent's going to pick one of them randomly to be added to my hand, and the other two are going to go to the graveyard. And we've got Dark Destroyer, which is a good good one to have. Fortunately, yes, he's still soul-absorbing. He's up to 10,000, but we can do... We've got a 4,000 attacker. We're on our way, ladies and gentlemen. Um... Fortunately, we didn't get a really good starting, but he doesn't look like he's going to be doing a whole lot of damage. Um, so, Kana Hawk, Banish a Ritual Beast. Okay, I'll let you do that. Ugh, sorry, sneeze there. Probably cut that out with some sort of comical sound effect, or maybe just a guitar, I don't know. Yep, not going to do that. Just going to wait. I'm going to wait for this to tag out, because I can negate that effect. Pretty sure. And if I can stop him from summoning a whole bunch of shit, then that's just gonna be it's just gonna be all the better. Oh, he's making the big thing. I forgot he could make this. Uh, must be special summoned by special summoning the above monsters. Um, you can banish one ritual beast, and if you do, negate the activation and destroy it. Okay. That's once per turn, right? Yeah, let's go ahead, let's see if we can make him discard some stuff. We'll do Cosmojo. Normally you don't want to do this on your your uh, people, on the, the pilots. This is destroy one Cosmo you control, banish one card your opponent controls or in their graveyard. Um, and the ships all get effects when they're destroyed. So normally you want to tag out for a ship when you do that. But in the case like this, he's probably going to negate that if he has the ability to. If not, I can just add back Tin Can or something else next turn, and then I'll be able to get, get over it. 
but eliminating this is prime. So he negates that. He gains 1,500. I'm going to go ahead and activate another one. Oh, and he can't negate it. He doesn't have one in his hand. Um... Hmm. Yeah. We'll just go ahead. Banish that. Hopefully he can't get it back out. Again, he's getting a whole bunch of stuff, but now he's got a card. So hopefully next turn I can... Oh, Psychic Path. You bastard. He getting those Psychic Monsters. Adding them back to his hand. So we could still do some stuff. But again, next turn I'm going to go off with a Vengeance. Especially if all he has this... All he... Oh, no. Now he's got... Oh, wait, these are both Tamers. I think he needs a Beast and a Tamer. Oh, well, there he goes. I could just summon a Beast. But can he do a lot of damage? I don't know. I'm just speculating at this point. I don't know shit. We'll be back. Okay, finally. There was the shenanigans I was used to. Um, so let us see. What can do? Okay. No, that won't work. Well, it might work. I don't think he has... Okay. We're going to try to go big. Just so big, he can't even comprehend. <coughs> so let's see. We're going to go ahead and banish another dark planet. Which, of course, is going to give him 500. We're going to return one banished. Take our other dark planet. And then, actually, since we there's still a chance we could use Dark Destroyer. So let's go ahead and just shuffle our Forerunner back in. And maybe we can get one of our lower Cosmos, because that'll be even better. No, we just gotta... Oh, wait, no, that'll work. Because we can play our second Cosmo Town. Which allows us to use the effect again. So let's get our... Tin can. And we'll go ahead and special summon Dark Planet. You could special summon this by banishing Cosmos whose uh, Cosmo monsters from your hand whose level is equal 10 or more. So you get one Dark Planet, you can get the other Dark Planet. Let's go ahead and run over this 2800. Don't want to run over this yet. Because he gets special summon a ritual beast from its extra deck, ignoring the summoning conditions when that happens. And he's tagging out. Fan toodly. Just what we don't doodly. But that's fine, we still have our normal summon. So we can tin can, put some things in the graveyard, get out Dark Destroyer, blow up more stuff on his field. And hopefully just reduce all his, his things to zero. Um, let's see. This one. <coughs> and then main phase two. Normal salmon. End phase. I'm just gonna use that dang old effect. Um, yeah. Paying 500, we're pretty low on life points. And then we'll trade out for Dark Destroyer. Good old Bank Destroyer. Good old Dank Destroyer. He's had many names over the years. There's our Forerunner again. Um, we'll try Dark Witch. And do I have... Oh, I don't have another high one. Um, let's go ahead and take Wicked Witch, because it's the closest. And hope we don't get that one. The other two would be preferable. Okay, there we go. Um, and we'll use this when it's summoned. You can blow up a card on the field. Um... I'll take this one, because it doesn't get an effect when it's blown up. Just put it in the graveyard. He has, he's officially more than doubled his life points. But I'm hopefully starting to get him to a point where he's not going to be able to overcome this. I don't think he has much destruction unless he gets the, the trap again. And this replaces itself when it's destroyed, and this lets me add something from my deck to my hand. 
And hopefully, if he activates a spell, I can negate it by banishing a Cosmo from my graveyard. Hopefully, I can add this back to my hand and get this summoned out, because this will give me a thousand life points every turn. Either that, or I could get Jurigetto. I run him in here. When he's summoned, I gain a thousand life points. Just a little, little something to get me back up. Okay, good. Even better. That's fantastic. Um... Although, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and add Tin Can back. Just because I can. Just the more resources I can have in here. So, what we're going to do... Put out Tin Can. Use him to Special Summon Dark Lady. Because Dark Lady, pay a thousand to negate the uh, activation of an effect monster. Which... Kind of going to suck against this, because I'm only going to have 200 life points left. But, this lets him summon one from the extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. So, ouch. Can't negate anything else. But, now he's completely clear for me to attack for 7,000. And hopefully now that he's down to two cards, he's not going to be able to do nearly as much. And I'll be able to just battle my way through this with these three. And again, I can stop spells if I get destroyed. They're replacing each other. Um, I just really need to get this... Hopefully he does activate a spell so I can get rid of this Forerunner. Um, either way, I'm going to cut because this is going to take a while to get through all this. Uh, at least a few turns. And I'll be back if something interesting happens. Oh, fuck. Damn it. I didn't think that through. I su I forgot that he had weight, even though he did it earlier. I forgot that he could just had a creature that he could normal summon and just get something back out. He's just going to make Ultra Gynapello an attack, and it'll be more than however much. That's what I get for doing a Dark Lady. I should have just kept these two, because these two can get over anything he has, except for the Ultra Gynapello, which is already banished. I'm rusty on Ritual Beasts, you'll have to excuse me. Yep, 26. I just didn't get it out fast enough. I should have forerunnered. Rippin' pepperoni. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are, second duel versus Joe. Interesting. I'm gonna go first with this deck. Because again, it's kind of a lockdown, stall-y kind of thing, so you want to go as first as possible. We're going to go ahead and Cosmo Town. And we're going to trade in these duplicates, because we don't need duplicates. Why would we want duplicates? That's even better. Um, we'll go ahead and get our tin can. End phase, use that dang old effect. And hopefully this will turn out a lot better than the last one. It's always disappointing when I make like a deck that I feel is really good, and then it loses the first duel. But, I mean, Ritual Beasts, man. They're a little complicated. They're a little tricky. Um, let's see. And this one. Three ships. Which do you choose? Hopefully I get Dark Destroyer. I don't really like this luck base thing, but it's the best option for getting cards in the graveyard to use with Dark Eclipser and uh, Dark Planet. Uh, Dark Eclipser, by the way, can negate a trap by banishing a uh, Cosmo monster from the graveyard. And he's going to Polarimerization. He could just summon some... If he summons something bigger, I can always Eclipse her. If he summons something smaller that has an effect, I can negate the effect. It depends. I, it really could be anything. Could be Luna Lights, could be Elemental Heroes, um... Gem Knights? But what Gem Knights would use Polymerization? They'd most likely use Gem Knight Fusion. Oh no. Where? Oh, looks like he's using all the new Destiny heroes. Um. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna negate that. I don't like that. Because it doesn't look like you have any effect that stops you from being negated. Something, something dark side. <laughs> because this is going to be negating most things. A first turn Dark Lady is usually pretty good in the current meta. Um, 
That's why we play three of them. Dark Eclipser, not so much, because not many people use traps. But negating monster effects, that shuts down a lot of things. Especially because, like, oh, you get the one negation, but then after that you could switch out for one of these two and have a big, huge defense wall. And even if, if they can get past this 2800, well, then you could still... It special summons a level 6 or lower, you could literally get another Dark Lady out. Um, let's go ahead, we're gonna go... We're gonna go Farm Girl. Farm Girl's the big searcher, one of the first Cosmos released. I'm going to assume that you have less than 2200 attack, or defense. Yep, Drill Guy. So then I can attack... And if this one deals effect damage, you can pay 500 life points. And grab any Cosmo card from your deck to your hand. Um, we're going to go with Dark Planet, because again, we want to complete this lockdown. Um, then we're going to attack in the battle phase, because we are scum. We are just absolute scum. We'll get out that. Give him with the 3000 attack point tickle. And then main phase two, we'll special summon our dark planet. And then we'll use Cosmo Town to add back our tin can in case we need to recover. But at this point, we have the triumvirate. We can negate one spell, one trap, and one monster effect. We have two cards. This, These two do it by banishing a Cosmo from the graveyard. This is pay a thousand. So we could, yeah, there we go. That's what this deck is supposed to do. If you can go first turn and get a pretty decent start, then you can lock them down. Hardcore. So let's go into the second duel, or third, what is it, third duel? Yeah, we'll go into the third duel and see if we can actually get a streak going. <laughs> Alright, here we are, third duel against Booty Gang Captain. Not, not a fan. I mean, I'd prefer Captain Cardsworth. <laughs> oh, let's see, what do we got here? Um, we're gonna go Tin Can. If you have Tin Can, it's best to start with Tin Can. I'm surprised when they did Cosmos, they didn't just, they didn't just, uh, ban Tin Can. Tin Can or Cosmo Town, that would've just shut down everything. And again, we're gonna go ahead and get our Dark Lady out. Because monster effects are what we are most likely to encounter. Um, we'll send an Eclipser, we'll send a Forerunner, and we'll send that good old Slip Strider. Whatever happens, we'll have we'll have ammo for Eclipser, and we'll have options. So many options. You won't even believe. Ooh. Ooh, Dimensional Fissure. That hurts a little bit. Um, the ships, all the they all have the effects of, like, when they're destroyed... Uh, <laughs> you son of a whore! Um, hmm... But yeah, the ships, you banish them from the graveyard to search. So, not being able to banish just kind, kind of sucks. Um, we'll go ahead and wait for him to go into his battle phase. And then I can tag out. Let's go, go, Dank Destroyer. I have more attack than you, and also I can blow up your card. But it can just pop back. Um. Yeah, and that's not gonna work, unfortunately. But you can't summon back out again during the battle phase. So I've won this encounter for an hour. What I need is Cosmo Town. That'll let me get my banished stuff back. Um. Gonna be destroyed anyway. Might as well do that. And we'll banish D Fissure. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get the search off of that. So now I really need one of my one of my Cosmo captains to be able to do things, and I desperately want to be able to do things. You are not a Cosmo captain. Um, you are still decent though. Fuck it. Try Dark Planet. It's a big four thousand attack point body. I can get over a pink dolphin. You don't know shit about me, all right? I'm a whole fucking planet. I'm like the Death Star in the Emerald City. Damn it! 
I just wanted to do things. I can only add a Cosmo monster. Let's get Tin Can. Because I haven't summoned yet. Of course, all of my ships are pretty much... They're gone. Gonna tag out. Just gonna tag out. I hate ritual beasts. I hate them. In all the testing... Well, I guess that's what I get for going... I should do TCG only, I suppose, since this is a TCG deck. Um... Hmm. Let's go for this. And... That... And what the hell, if we get Cosmo Town, we could still do good next turn. Even if that leaves him here to be destroyed utterly. It leaves him here to be destroyed utterly. We just gotta hope we can recover next turn. But yeah, I didn't I didn't have to test against these. Um Like it's 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 sad because I have I have replays I've saved of this beating Cyber Angels. I have replays of me beating Blue Eyes decks. I'm beating all these things. But fucking ritual beasts. Nonsense. Okay, so let's go ahead and Cosmo Town. Pretty sure he doesn't have a ritual beast in his hand. He grabbed the trap. Um, Let's return one of my banished Cosmo monsters. Like, I don't know. This one? I don't know why I made the destruction noise. Um, Let's go ahead and summon Straw Man. Straw man can summon one of my banished Cosmo monsters by paying 500. Um... I say Dark Eclipse. Oh, okay. But I can just activate the second effect. And be like, supplies. And then maybe blow this up. Oh, there you go. That worked out. Everything worked out better than expected. He didn't negate when he should have negated. He did forget. Of course, I have 500 life points, which means I can't very well do much of anything. Can't add my monsters back to my hand. If you don't know, Cosmo Town has a cost that you lose life points equal to the level of the monster times 100. So I can't add anything, any of my level 5s or higher. They have to be, I could add like a tin can maybe. But I couldn't activate Tin Can's effect because that cost 500. Oh, that's good. Um, go into the battle phase. Activate your ghetto. Gain a thousand. Attack face down. Penguin. Okay. And then 3,000. Oh. Uh. Sure. You could tribute this to give a monster a thousand extra attack. And then I'll grab, um... Straw Man. Such straw, very man, wow. Well, this turned around quite suddenly. See, that other guy had it right by playing the, uh... The thing that gains him all the life points. If he had 14,000 life points right now, there would be no way I'd be able to do anything. But I double activated all the effects, so it, it fucked him up. And we ended up winning after all. I don't care if it's because he fucked up. <laughs> I fuck up too sometimes. That doesn't mean I didn't lose. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Fourth duel versus medical doctor, Sewell Kaiser. <laughs> I assume that's what MD stands for. Hard to say, hard to leg. We, of course, got our sleeves. I've mentioned them already, but I really like the way they turned out. The lighting effects and everything, and the dark planet. And she's all like, join the dark side. Bruh. Oh, what do we got here? We got some things. We got some stuff. Not very good things and or stuff. Um, We're going to go ahead and put out Straw Man. And we're just going to uh, start it off right with Dark Eclipser. Big 3,000. Can't be targeted. I've got Cosmojo to get rid of things. It's a pretty, pretty bad hand. Really, you gotta hope you start with, with Cosmo Town or Tin Can. Those are your two big play openers. If you get Cosmo Town, you can recursion and start adding these things back. 
That's why, again, if they really wanted to hurt Cosmos, Cosmo Town would be the best way. That is, like, best card. And we're playing against Mermail Mermails. Um, one set card my opponent controls. Oh. I'm going to have to let him destroy this. I, he might be able to get over this. I don't know. I don't know what Mermails can do. But if I just... If I just activate this and clear my field, I'll have nothing. I know they can OTK. I know they can use all their supplies and make big, huge things. So I just want to make it as difficult for him to OTK as possible. Oh, Abyss. Oh, he is just 4,000. That's too much. And he can negate my spells. Well, fuck. That puts me in a bit of a tricky pickle. Un I mean, fortunately... He put this out here. Only has 1,400. Assuming it stays here, I could, I could straight up attack over it and then summon Dark Destroyer and kill this without having to do anything. I still get my search. Um, let's, let's go ahead and Tin Can. Why not? And then, oh, can I attack multiple times? Um, oh, Tribute, okay, can make a second. Okay, gotcha. So he almost OTK'd. It's a good thing I set that. Oh. He can, well, he OTK'd. Fuck. <laughs> oh, Gadoki, here we are at the fifth duel versus Reeks. Or Rex. I don't know, hard to say. I'm Dorothy Skywalker, which is probably the easiest uh, thing to ever think. Um, we've got shit for hands once again, but we have an allure of darkness, so maybe it'll get better. It didn't really get better. <laughs> Unfortunately, play too many high-level things. We're going to go ahead and try to get our tin can as quickly as possible, which is going to be two turns. Um, special summon this. I can special summon it during my turn, and at least I'll gain a thou his turn. And I can special summon it in defense mode. I can special summon two of them. And it, oh, okay. He opened up even worse than I did. Or he's playing, um, whatchamacallit? Cyframes? No. Thank you. Um, return one banished. Well, let's just get this back, shall we? Get our plays started. Normal summon that. Um... Yeah, we're just going to go ahead, reveal three Cosmo. Not going to tag out immediately, because there's no real reason to. We'll just Dark Eclipser, um, Dark Lady, oh, what was I, where is it at? Dark Destroyer. Because maybe we'll get Dark Lady, and then we can tag out. No, Dark Destroyer. So we'll wait until he summons something. And then we'll do something. He continues to have a very bad hand. So you know what? During the end phase, we're just going to go ahead. We're going to do that again. More drawing. Why wouldn't I want to draw more? It's essentially searching. I don't get to choose exactly what I search. Um, and yeah, we'll just go ahead and tag that out for this dang old Dark Eclipse. Bada bingo. And which ones? The other ones we didn't get? Um, that, and Forerunner, and a Wicked Witch. And we've got a Wicked Witch. Very nice, very nice indeed. So next turn we can get Dark Planet. We can summon this. You're playing Des... How do you brick with Deskbot? If you have Deskbot Base, Deskbot Base has the same effect as, like, Cosmo Town, Where you could shuffle... Reveal any number of Deskbot cards in your hand, shuffle them into the deck. So if he's bricking with Cosmos, that should be able to... Or bricking with Deskbots, that should unbrick him. Unless he's waiting for me to attack. In which case... You waited too long. Because now I can attack you for a lot. Um, okay. 
Turn me into defense mode, will you? Um... Yeah, we'll go ahead. Might be a waste of Dark Destroyer, but I just want to get rid of him as fast as possible. So, we'll attack for 1700. Activate. Give him another 1000. Attack for 4,000. There we go! And, uh, I think we're good for now. I mean, this is still a 4,000 defense wall. Oh, why you need speedroids and despots? Unless you're going for some sort of weird OTK. I don't know what he's doing. It's that I was hoping for, like, a more close battle, but it's like the ones we win are just, like, not even doing anything. And yeah, I'm negating that. With my Dark Lady. You could still Dark Hole. Oh, now he's got desk bots. He's got desk bots all over the place. Um, oh, I could... It's not even once per turn. I could just keep banishing things. No. No spells. Not as long as I have Cosmos in the graveyard. You got your 500, and that's all you get. I hope you have Air Mirror Force. Even if you have Air Mirror Force, I have Dark Eclipser. But just to be safe, well, first of all, let's go ahead. We'll get Tin Can because it only costs 100. We'll activate another Cosmo Town. No, I won't negate my own Cosmo Town. We'll get this back. So if he somehow survives this, more things bad will happen to him. 3,000, go! Hmm? Mirror Force. Okay, good. He realized. I was just gonna Dark Eclipse it anyway. So there's our third win. Let's go into the sixth duel. Alrighty then, here we are, a little past halfway, boo with Six Duel versus GDC! We are gonna go first as always, because if you wanna lock people down, you gotta set up, you gotta establish first. Thanks. You too. Gotta always be polite. Um. Shuffle one Cosmo monster, then draw? Um. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Either way, we'll get our Cosmo Town. We're going to banish Tin Can. Use Cosmo Town to get Tin Can. Because we already have a Dirk Lady. And then we'll just do that dang old opening play that we just keep doing. Just the best opening play. Double effects all the way across the sky. Dark Lady says hello. And then an Eclipser, a Dark Destroyer, and a Forerunner. E hmm? Yeah, Forerunner. Those are all big ones that will replace... Well, Eclipser won't, but... That's why Eclipser only at two, even though he's part of the Dark. That's why not on sleeves. If this card replaced itself when it was... Hmm. Blue Eyes should be interesting. I've beaten Blue Eyes before. It's not such an easy battle. Fortunately, I have Jurigetto, so I don't even have to necessarily pop this out for Dark Destroyer. I can just Jurigetto and put this up to 3200. Ooh, Chemical Beasts. I haven't even looked at these yet. I know they're Gemini-related. Gospel of Revival, okay. You do that, buddy. You have fun. And then he's gonna get the big one. Terraforming. What could he be? Oh, Sparkfield. 
which is for the chemical beasts. This would have worked much better if I can get Dark Planet. Um, without tribute. Um, what is this? Okay. Banish one Gemini monster you control, and if you do, destroy that card. Well, I guess you forced my hand then. Let's go and get that out. And then I'll use that to blow up the one that has an effect. Oh, but he has a Gospel of Revival. Rip. Good exchange, though. We're about even. I mean, he's going to make bigger things. Ooh, rank up magic. What are you going to turn that into? The Neo Galaxy Eyes. Um, negate all the... Whoa. Oh, okay. And he's just going to put that on top. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure quite what... <laughs> what are you doing this for? Um... Negate all effects currently on the field, and I cannot activate... Well, that's gonna suck, because then my Cosmo Town is doomed. Um... <laughs> I don't think he can OTK. I'd be surprised. Um... I can't activate... I'm not sure if this will work, but I'm gonna go ahead and... Tr no, I'll save it. It's fine. And then I'll just tag out for... Huh. Hmm. I mean, this would blow up his field. Does it have a thing? Yeah, let's just go ahead and get rid of his field spell so I have slightly more. Nope, I can't. I still can't activate cards or effects on the field. But only until the end phase. That's good. Um. Doesn't it looks like it could be destroyed. So you know, let's just get this. Let's we'll save our tin can. Dorothy. Good old farm girl. Special summon this. Blow up your big thing with all its materials. There's 3,000. There's 2,300. Fuck it. I could use a little advantage. I could have killed him if I had done this properly, and I didn't think about... Yeah, by exactly a 1,000. Um, but that's fine. He has another turn. He has exactly two cards. If he destroys either of these two, then... What does this do? Special summon one Gemini. Okay. Do that. It has a lot of attack. Um, banish one Gemini monster from your graveyard. Target one card your opponent controls. Destroy it. Even though if he destroys either of those two or my field spell, I'm getting something back. If he tries to target this, I could just get rid of it. What you... Okay. We'll just make this have an extra thousand. Granted, he can now Ixy summon with two level eights. I didn't even realize they became the same level. So maybe he could do that all again, with just two rank A and just bump, bump, bump into into all the Ixies forever. It's possible. Oh, we'll be back. Okay, he destroyed Slip Strider with the field spell, so he's not making that rank 8. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop out a Wicked Witch. This thing, in addition to being a pilot, you can pay a thousand, and it won't be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. So it just saves itself for another for another turn. GG.
Is he saying that because he lost? Um, to attack. Let's get this back. Let's go ahead and, just to be sure, get rid of his field spell. Because I don't like that. And then let's see if this is good game. Yes, it is good game. Really weird, I have no idea what he was trying to do with all those things, just trying to make a 6,000 attack point beat stick. Seems like a whole lot, it's a whole lot of effort to make a monster that has zero protection from anything. It could be targeted, it could be destroyed. Um, but you know, that's not something you see every day. Um, so I gotta commend him for that, he's at least doing something interesting. Either way, we go on to the seventh duel. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's see here, this is the, uh... Seventh Duel versus Cherez, which is like Juarez, but with fundamental differences. It's also all in caps, but I can't yell Cherez right now. I just can't. I'm not enthused enough. This is this is a fun deck, but it's not like... I'm not super excited to be playing it. There's something about it. Something deep inside of me knows that even though this isn't meta, it's still kind of meta. Um, let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and banish... Dark Planet, because there's nothing we can do with it right now. And we'll take another Cosmo Town. But we could always search another one. So there's that. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead... Well... Yeah, let's go ahead... No, not that. Um, actually... No, not that. <laughs> we're just gonna shuffle this in. Because we already got a bunch of pilots. See what we get. Um, I have no dark monsters, so that would be silly of me to do. Although... I'm a problem solver. Yes, I am. And there it goes, banished again. But we have Cosmojo now, so there's that. Go ahead and... Put out Tin Can. And you know what, we're going to go with gar Gold... Gar 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 Gold sarcophagi. We'll just put our other dark planet out there. That way we won't be tempted to draw it. And, you know... Now they're both out there. So we could recover them both next turn for the cost of... For the cold cost of, uh, 2,000 life points. Go ahead and use this. Um, let's just pick the big three. Dark Eclipser. Dark Destroyer. And, I don't know, this one. The one that looks kind of like the Millennium Falcon, but not really. I mean, this, this, I mean, I guess this doesn't really look like the Death Star. If you don't know, the Cosmo were a mashup between, um, Star Wars and the Wizard of Oz. And so this is supposed to be like the Death Star, but it's, it's, like, it's got the round part, but it's also got all this other stuff that the Death Star didn't have. So it's very distinct. It's not just a giant orb. Whereas this is like, this just pretty much looks like a Star Destroyer. It's just, it's just very clearly a Star Destroyer. Slightly different shape. Um, and this kind of, this is, oh, jeez. Oh, no. Um, well then. Doesn't that put us in a strange pickle? Playing Despots, probably? I've got to assume. I mean, you can use those in, in other things, in machine things. Because I believe that's when you special summon two machine-type monster. Oh, he's playing Dino Mist. I think I mentioned that in the last episode. I was like, you could put Dino Mist with Despot 001, because when you Pendulum Summon 2, you just get that. And then you can make all sorts of rank 6s. Just goes back in the graveyard and the extra deck, you just summon them back out again. Um, let's go ahead and trade out for that ding-dang old Dark Destroyer. Bada bingo. And he's got the scales. Now, how many things can he summon? And can he summon something that can get over this? This is going to lower attack. Those are both going to lower attack. By a lot. And then he gets that. Um... Fuck. Just fuck, man. Damn Dark Destroyer. Um, for every machine type. If I move this out of the way, he's going to have so many things. I've just got to... 
Well, that has the most attack. No, I'm not going to negate my own. Um, we'll just banish this. And then I'll add something to my hand. Perhaps the, uh... Hmm. Dark Lady? Dark Lady is pretty cool. I'm not going to have enough to do the, uh... The Dark Planet thing that I wanted to do. A sad state of affairs. But at least he can't make any synchros. And he doesn't have five, so he can't make Cyber Durgan Inferno, Inferno Dargan. Cyber Inferno Dargan? Maybe. Granted, he can make Gaga -ga, Ga Cowboy. I kind of hope he does, actually. It'll put me at a disadvantage because I'll have less stuff, but then if I destroy it, these just go in the graveyard and he can't do anything. No, he's going to leave them out there. Hmm. I can't. I could do Tin Can again. I don't particularly want to. But I have to get something out. Fuck, I'm just, I'm just doomed. Um, let's see. At Dark Planet's pretty much my only hope. So, let's just go ahead and activate this other effect. Uh, oh, damn it. Fuck. I should, I could summon it now, I just realized. Well, we'll try that. And if I just screwed myself over, I'll be I'll feel very foolish. Um Hmm. That can do something. Yeah, I think we're just gonna No, I don't have enough. I've screwed myself over. I can't even use tin can. Well, what I can do I should have just I had the two dark ladies, I could have that would have been ten. Um no, that'll kill me. Let's just shuffle that in and hope we get a Cosmo other than farm anything. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Why am I so dumb? Go out on my own terms. Alright, here we are, 8th Duel versus Shark. Shark-tastic. Sharks never look back because they don't have necks. That's a fun thing. That's a fun bit of trivia. We'll go ahead and Allure of Dirkness. Um, I mean, whatever, man. Fucking Dark Eclipser. And we'll go ahead and Gold Sarcophagus and get our Tin Can. Tin Can Hitman. Maybe we'll get it at some point. Farm Girl. You're my buddy. You're my buddy. Doing Farm Girl. Things with a dog and a gun and glasses. Whatever, whatever, something, something. Well, at least his name is accurate. Gonna make some kind of rank four. Gonna make Tree Toad? I'm not gonna like you if you make Tree Toad. If he makes that thing that can summon Tree Toad, I'm just summoning out Forerunner. Oh, okay. That's good. I'm glad. I didn't want to challenge anyway. Um, let's see. We'll just go ahead and Jurigetto. And he surrendered. Well, I'm not picky. I'm still counting that ninth duel. <laughs> Here we are, eighth duel versus GI unit. Well, that I doesn't have a period after it. I don't know. That doesn't change the pronunciation though. It's just it's just bad grammar in general. Uh, looks like we're doing decently so far. Not as good as I would have liked. So this this is one of those decks that had a pretty good, pretty winning rate when I when I played it originally, or when I was testing it. And I was like, oh, this will take the world by a storm. But no, it's just kind of a mediocre <laughs> Cosmo deck. It's definitely an interesting build of it. It and especially now that Cosmos have come come, come down at price and Dark Destroyers at one. Um, if you wanted a more casual build of it that isn't the as far as I know, the meta version of it is the Fire Kings one. So if you wanted just something different, something that locks down, I'm pretty sure you can get like the gold rare versions of most of the Cosmos for a lot cheaper. Was it gold rare? I think they came out in collection. Whatever. Point is, you can make Cosmos now. 
It's not, not a budget deck by any means, but it's no longer the, like, $800 deck that it was. However, not 800 probably more closer to 400 or $500. I know Dark Destroyer was, like, almost a $100 card. Uh, do I get to... No, I gotta go second. Who wants to go first these days? You could have an extra card. Not that I've got... I mean, I got my one Slip Strider. Which, a lot of people told me I should play more of these. I just like the one... Generally, the idea is to go first and stop them from actually activating spells or traps, rather than just destroying their spells and traps. I run the one as, like, some removal, but generally it's like we lock down, we don't remove, or we stun, we don't remove. We negate, we don't remove. Um, although, if you do play two of these and you happen to somehow get them out, you can make Cyber Infinity Dragon with it, because it's a level 5 machine. So there's that. Not something particularly I'm interested in. Even though Cyber Dragon Infinity has come off of my shit list. He was there for quite a while. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll make our tin can play. Because we've got the combo that searches out whatever Cosmo we want. Just dump things in the graveyard. Um, where are you at, you little bastard? There you go. You get Cosmo Town. Cosmojo, which is a Cosmo card. It is, it's so fun, it just rolls off the tongue. And even if he negates this, I can just add a Cosmo card from my deck to my hand, so I can just get another Cosmo Town and have a dandy old time. He's got something he can chain. No idea what it is. But I know it's not monster negation, because... It wouldn't be wait. Well, it could be waiting for something in his hand. Maybe he has like a max C or something. And it's like, you want to activate it? You would activate it now. So many mysteries. See, mysteries. This is part of the reason I like Yu Gi Oh! is like because of the sense of mystery. You don't really get that magic or Hearthstone. Everything's just out on the field. There's no, no other card game I know of that has like the face down elements and the trap card elements. Oh, pardon me. A little cough there. A little coughing. Ah, uh, we'll be back when this is done. Oh, okay, well, never mind. I'm gonna return this. Go to level one. I'll take a hundred damage. It's a steep price to pay, but it's worth it. So, so there we go. Booly boop. Um, end phase. Let's just go ahead. Bodily Boodly. And let's go ahead and just kill whatever that is. We've got our Slip Strider, we might as well use it. And then we'll get the Eclipser, and the Destroyer, and the Forerunner. Which I didn't even play. I didn't even play Dark Destroyer or Forerunner in the original build of this deck, because it was just supposed to be about the lockdown. But it's good to have more things that you can get out of the grave with with Tin Can, um, because you can search them and stuff. Oh yes, and I'll use that effect. Thank you very much. You can also destroy your own Cosmo Town and search, which is always an option. I could get that dark planet and then make things. Actually, it's somewhat of a good option against uh, blue eyes decks because they're gonna banish this. They've got banishing spell cards. You don't like those. What is taking you so long to decide? <laughs> oh, we'll be back. And he just waited for the time limit to come up. Uh, well, I guess I'm not gonna count that one because nothing actually happened. So, we'll just go into a real ninth duel. Well, wouldn't you know, it's my arch nemesis player. Come to antagonize me once again, have ye? Somehow he just keeps knowing the names that I pick, even though they're completely different. I don't tell anyone. Come up with them right beforehand each time. This is a, this is a terrible hand. This is nonsense. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna... Oh no, Dark Planet. Where's Dark Planet? There we go. 
And we'll see, we might lose just right here, unfortunately. Most people don't even run the Dark Planet, but being able to negate spells is such a good effect. There's so many spells this time. Someone's still playing Monarchs. That's interesting. Extra deck Monarchs at that. What will make? What can do? This guy's playing super fast, too. Could it be an AI? Did a robot come to battle against me? From the future? Some kind of Terminator? You've got your one copy. Which can be useful if I had a monster. Fire! Great, if he gets my... Um... Oh, he gets to look at it. If he does this, I'm taking 2,000. Which is shit, man. Fuck. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it because it falls. Ugh. 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 Now even if I get my dark planet, I don't have my other dark planet. It's just shit. He didn't attack. Um, let's see. Well, I can do... I could do a thing. Um... So, we'll normal summon one Jiraghetto. Waiting. Processing. Processing. Something's gonna happen. I don't know what he's waiting on. Probably some kind of solemn. Knowing my luck. Just solemn strike right there. Oh. He could do that. Ah, so he's gonna Monarch Storm Forth during my turn. Brutal. And then he'll summon a thing. From the deck. Okay. Well, I can't do what I wanted to do. I was going to go into the battle phase and then summon this. And then I have two fours that I can make like a rank four play. But as it stands, I can't do I can't do much of anything at all. And he's going to send something into my deck. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> all right. Well, I've made it this far. I got all my things back. For all the good that it does me, he has such an established field now that there's there's very little I could do at all, really. Um, and he has Escalation to the Monarch, so he could Tribute Summon during my turn. But not in the end phase. But of course, if he gets that, that's non-targeting removal, so it doesn't matter what I get, really. He's just going to be able to do stuff. Um, but we'll go ahead and switch this out anyway. Get Wicked Witch and at least have a defense wall. Just summoning more things. Eh. And then let's see. We need an Eclipser. And we need a Dark Destroyer. And, uh, fuck it. You know, maybe Dark Planet. If we have that, we could summon it next turn. Nope, Dark Destroyer. Which is still decent, because he doesn't have the things that destroy stuff. But, he could tribute. He could tribute a whole lot of stuff. It's really just a matter of how many more of these he has. Oh, rank 5's interesting. Oh. He could change my effect. I don't want that. Let's just go ahead. We're gonna cannot be destroyed. And see if he tries to change that. And if he does, then I'll chain the summon effect. Okay. We're good. Send that and summon. Yep. He's just going to reuse the Monarch Storm Forth over and over again. A sad state of affairs. That's the one real big... That's the reason why Cosmos... Cosmos were always good, but they didn't really top on the meta. Like, they were in, like, the top-tier decks, but they can't stand up against Monarchs because Storm Forth is such an out to them. 
They normally only have one, maybe two monsters out on the field, and if you could tribute that before they could swap out without destroying it, then they're just doomed. So, I was hoping I wouldn't run into monarchs, because they're so neutered now that, like, no one seems to be playing them. But this guy is doing it. He's doing the thing. Um... Yeah, I mean, fuck it. I'm dead anyway. It's like, it's like, whatchamacallit, I'm already dead. Um, yep, change the effect. I no longer summon, I just blow up whatever this card is. Rippin' pepperoni. Well, let's go ahead into our last duel and see if we can, uh, if we break even. <laughs> okay, here we are, last and final duel versus Espa. And, again, you know, we're we're still doing decent. I just feel really bad because this is like, this should have been a much more competitive deck than my troll deck, but it might end up tying it. Granted, my troll deck didn't go, I'm talking about last week's deck, um, the, the banished troll OTK. It didn't go up against, like, mermails or the new ritual beasts or anything that was really, like, hardcore for the most part. Of course, now we're doing the Dark Lords again, which I still don't... There's so much text here. There's just so much. Um, I forget how... I think last time they just... I like, played them, they only won because they used... I, I ran on Banishing and they had Necroface. So I'm in, I'll be interested to see what they can do like this. Um, target one Fairy, Special Summon it. Um... He can do that, which is summon one from the graveyard. He could do that. And they just steal the spell effects, right? Yeah. I don't know why you would put this in defense when it has 2,900. Does it say you have to? Oh, yeah, you have to. That's probably for the best. Still no idea. Is that like a altar with like a stairway? Are they climbing a stairway to heaven? At first I thought like, this little thing was like the handle of a, of a knife, and this was like a blade shining on top of it. But yeah, it's very clearly a stairway. So, let's see, we'll go ahead and Allure of Darkness. We'll get rid of the one that has the easiest amount. We'll go ahead and grab one of those. Cosmo Town. Let's grab one of these back. Um, and let's see. Okay, so we could special summon our Dark Planet by banishing these two. That's a big 4,000. Another Cosmo Town. Give me back my... Um... Yeah, almost anything is going to be able to go over... Oh, wait, no, I have Jurigetto, so that'll be good. We'll get that. We'll put out Wicked Witch. We'll just go ahead and dang old banish it for Dark Lady. Because, oh, I have no Cosmos in, in, in the graveyard. I was so excited because I was like, oh, I could destroy, I could stop spell traps, or I could stop spells, and I could stop monster effects. That's everything this is. Uh, I can't, well, I didn't want to attack. Um... Yeah, that gets an effect when it's special. It has 2,900. You know what? I already I already committed to the attack. Let's just go ahead and put it out here. Get this up to 32. And get that off the field. There we go. We have, we have strong opening play. We've got a 4,000 that can't be targeted. That's difficult to get over. They might be able to. I don't know. I don't know what they have, really. I could stop their monster effects, though, and this is going to remain 32. Um, Ishtab? Yeah, I think I want to stop that. I don't know exactly, but I think that's draw two cards. Or summon something out of the graveyard. And he surrendered. Good, we could at least beat Dark Worlds. We did do two, you know what, I'll see you on the end screen. <laughs>
So there you go, Dark Cosmo Stun. Like I said, didn't do quite as well as I wanted to, but it's still decent. It has its things, especially if you get a good opening hand. Um, there's a bit of luck to it. These dark planets can kind of bog you down. Um, fortunately, if you get two of them, you can use one to special summon the other, but that's neither here nor there. You just, you really need Cosmo Town and you really need Tin Can, and despite my draw power, we didn't quite get it. But there you go. I did Cosmos. It was, it was pretty fun. It's still a neat deck. Um, next week, I'll be taking a look back at something I've played before. I think it was called Tiny Beast Lockdown. Should be interesting to see how it does this time. I'm going to be playing it almost exactly the same as it was. So, until then, good luck, have fun. <laughs>